In today's video, we are taking an item that's more common in your household than you think, pushing its limits and seeing just what it can and can't do. Guys, in a previous video, you have seen Grant use super absorbent polymer from diapers to actually turn it into a sort of super soil that you can use for plants. However, this stuff is a lot more versatile than just being used in your garden. So we wanna show you some of the stuff that it can do. You have seen Grant use colored water to expand our absorbent polymer. However, that's not something you necessarily want to put in your plants. You actually just want to use regular water if you're going to be using this in your garden or anything like that. Our friend Daniel was very generous and sent us a lot of super absorbent polymers. In fact, this is 100% biodegradable super absorbent diaper polymer. So this is what you're going to find in most diapers. But it's not all created equal. Some of this can absorb up to 800 times its own weight in water. That also depends on the type of water you use. It also depends on the type of polymer that you have. So we're gonna put this to the test and see kind of quality this is. Here's the basic idea. We have a lot of super absorbent polymer. So we're gonna go ahead and see just what this can actually absorb and then see what else it can do. So to start out with, we have got some tap water and we have got some distilled water. Now, when it comes to the types of water you use with your absorbent polymers, tap water, it'll normally absorb about 300 times its weight. Distilled water, however, about 800 times. So let's put that to the test, see if we can see the difference. We wanna make this as accurate as possible. So we are going to use our gunpowder scale. We're going to measure out a gram of our absorbent polymer. So then we're going to add 300 grams of tap water to one cup and 800 grams of distilled water to the other cup. See if it actually works the way it's supposed to. Let's see if we can get a gram there. Well, I'm confused because it's not measuring anything yet and it should be. There we go. We have exactly one gram of absorbent polymer. Now we're gonna try and get 300 grams of water into this cup, but to be honest, we don't know if our scale can go up that high or if this cup will hold it. Let's find out. Oh, max is out at 100. Okay, good to know. We're gonna have to get our larger kitchen scale over here because I don't think this is gonna be able to take 300 or 800 grams. My lovely assistant. Thank you, lovely assistant. Perfect, all right. Supposedly, all of that water should be absorbed by this. This is more of a control test. This would be the best super absorbent polymer that you could get would be able to absorb this amount of tap water. We don't know if it's gonna work, so let's find out. This is kind of cool. You can actually see that some of it is already sort of suspended in the water and you can see it's rising already. That's pretty cool. While that's absorbing, let's go ahead and measure out 800 grams of distilled water and another gram of our absorbent polymer. See if that works. Perfect. Okay, we got it. So 800 grams of distilled water, one gram, super absorbent polymer. Exactly one gram, perfect. Now, just in the time it took us to do that, you can see the gel that is forming in our other glass here. Definitely not doing quite as much as I wanted it to. There are a few little clumps in here that could be causing uh, some of our problems, given the fact that that's like half of the gram. Now, this is basically the same stuff that Orbeez is made out of, and when I say basically, it is. All right, so it's been about five minutes for this one, and the water is definitely gone gelatinous on us. I am impressed with what's already happened here in just five minutes time, but I wanna make a few quicker slurries. I'm gonna see how thick we can make one of these, and then we're gonna try some other liquids. Let's go ahead and start with a couple of scoops. Add distilled water until we get ourselves a nice gel. That is going to be a mess right there. <laughs> That was instantaneous. The stick isn't even moving. That's, that's how fast this stuff works. Yup. It's just a thick, thick sort of slurry, which is basically exactly what we wanted. All right, quick check on this. Now I would go ahead and say this isn't the most super absorbent polymer that there is. I'm still very impressed with how gelatinous it's made this water, but it's not 
the most. So here's what I wanna do. I actually want to do a side-by-side -side test with the polymer that you find in diapers. So we're gonna go ahead and rip open one of these diapers, use that polymer, try and get about the same amount of one of our containers here, add the exact same amount of water and see which one absorbs more. Let's see if we can get a gram of each. Given how these have turned out, I'm gonna say we're gonna add 100 grams of water to each. So just to keep ourselves honest, 100 grams of water, 100 grams of water, okay. So the multi-purpose polymer, and we will be using distilled water because supposedly it works better. And diaper polymer. So this is fascinating. My hypothesis was actually that the multi-purpose polymer was going to absorb more because the diaper polymer had cotton swatting still sort of in it. But if you look at this, our multi-purpose is uh, still pretty much liquid and our diaper polymer is not. So that's really cool to note. Diaper polymer, absolutely winning here. This is insanely impressive. In comparison, Mark, can you help me out here? This is like hair gel consistency, you guys. Straight from the jar, straight from the diaper. All right, on to the next thing. Now we know that absorbent polymers can absorb color. However, I wanna know if they can absorb other things. Let's try it out. Now, I'm not gonna be quite as exact with this. I'm not gonna worry about grams or anything like that. We've seen the difference. I'm still gonna be sticking with the uh, containers that Daniel sent us. Daniel, thank you. There's gonna be so many fun projects with this stuff. But for now, we're gonna put two scoops in each of these cups, add some Dr. Pepper, add some punch, see what happens. Now this one I'm very curious about because carbonation, how's that gonna react? Let's see if I can get them about even though. Oh no, the foam's gonna make this a little bit more difficult. All right, so they're not gonna be perfectly even because I'm gonna have to add more because of that. Oh, interesting. Okay, it's harder to see with the blue, but there is a thick, almost hard to move through gelatin at the bottom of this but less so at the top. You can kind of see these clumps. I'm gonna try and break through them a little bit. With the uh, Dr. Pepper, I'm a little bit less concerned because I'm pretty sure the carbonation itself is helping to uh, break up the clumps. Both of these liquids did absorb and I am thrilled. So, let's see. I'd say they're about the same consistency, honestly. Blue Punch, Dr. Pepper. Before you comment, I did do research on this. This is biodegradable, this is non-toxic, and it is not dangerous to eat. I'm not going to eat it, but I have to taste it, you guys. I have to know. It is a very unpleasant jello. Dr. Pepper is the one I was super curious about because I want to know if the carbonation stuck around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Nay, no! <laughs> I don't like it. All right, now that we've tried different liquids, different absorbency rates, I do wanna try something else because I think you're gonna be curious about it. A lot of people ask when we do things with Orbeez, can it absorb alcohol? Well, I wanna show you what it actually does. Alcohol is actually going to suck the water out of the polymer and I wanna give you kind of an example of how that works. Just in the few minutes this has been sitting here now, the consistency itself has changed. It's gone back to almost the exact same size as it is in the containers itself. It's still a little squishy, but it's lost a lot of that, uh, that water content as the alcohol has been evaporating away. So that is why Orbeez and any sort of super absorbent polymer is not going to absorb alcohols. 
Absorbent polymer is also used as a fire retardant. In fact, if you create the slurry correctly, it's actually what a lot of stunt people use in movies to protect themselves when they're set on fire. So we're gonna try this. Regular piece of foam core, nothing on it. See what happens. Oh, that's what happens. Foam core burns very easily, very quickly. Let's see what happens if we add some of our polymer to it. Yep, that's very slimy. All right, let's see if this works. <laughs> awesome. That was probably twice the amount of time that we had that first piece in. And yes, of course, it's still going to burn because this does evaporate. It is going to dry out. But this difference, that was extreme. Which means I have to test it one other way. Okay, I'm gonna need you to light me on fire. Uh. This is not how stunt doubles do this. This is not how people do this in the movies. I just gotta know. At this distance should be burning me. Not a thing. I can't even feel it. Does this work in your garden? Yes, it does. Can this absorb multiple types of liquids? Yes, it can. Do different types of liquids from distilled water to Dr. Pepper absorb differently? Yeah, they kind of do. And can you use this as a fire retardant? Yes, you can. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you to our latest video, and that box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Hit this bomb in the middle to subscribe to the club so you never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.